The following is a presentation of the Eagles Sports Network. This is CNEagles.com. I'm Matthew Osborne. She is Carson and Women's Golf Coach. She's in Strudwick because the Eagles get set to host the fifth annual Smoky Mountain Intercollegiate. First off, Coach will kind of wrap up last week's event over in Mid Pines, North Carolina. Team finishes tied for 11th. Elizabeth England finishes tied for 11th in the individual competition. She ends day one in a tie for first place. She played lights out the first day. She goes two rounds below 76. Yeah. What was the key for Elizabeth coming out? And then the, t- the the fact that the team finished tied for 11th, what was, what was the determining factor in that one? Yeah, well, first off, I think, you know, for me, the team was a little sluggish on that last day. The the energy level was a little low. So that's something that we're going to address. The first day with the 36 holes and going into it, the practice round, the girls were high key, they were energized, they were ready to go. Um, but I think that, that, you know, the 36 holes and then coming into the last day, the energy level was a little low. I didn't like that. I was a little bit worried. So we're going to certainly work on that. For Elizabeth, um, she honestly had an issue of just trying to believe in herself. Um, and, that, and again, that's something that we're going to address and work on because no doubt she is one of the best players out there. That field had the top 10 in the, in the nation um, of, of um, teams and individuals playing, and she is absolutely ready to be there and can compete. And so that just very slight lack of self-belief is something that, you know, she needs to really, you know, understand she's one of the best players out there and absolutely is, is can play with them so but leading into this week I'm I'm hoping for a little better finish than that you play at the Smoky, you play at Sevierville Golf Club yeah. this week's SMI you make the transition to the Highlands Club which has hosted conference tournaments you've played there before right. but first time some of the players on this year's team have seen it what's gonna be the difference between that and the River Course which hosted last year's South Atlantic Conference Championship yeah I mean I think the big difference is the River Course is a little longer it's a little bit more open um, the Highlands course has six par threes, two on the front, four on the back. The key to that course is the par three, playing the par threes well and playing the par fives. Um, and so, you know, we've, we've worked hard. I believe we've prepared well. We have a busy schedule of events. We've got the, the, the Elite Women's Workshop tonight, our fundraiser tomorrow morning um, for the golf teams, and then going straight into our event Sunday, Monday. So the girls have had enough time to play the Highlands, get ready for it. Um, and so I think that transition won't, won't affect them at all, playing the two. You go to all nine players we're playing this week, including yeah. a couple of changes to the A team yeah. as as Becca Pruitt and Kelly Pemberton make the transition over the A side. Those are two seniors. I know you've been high on Taylor Hay so far this season, but the two seniors coming to the A yeah. squad will keep the momentum going forward yeah. from last week's event, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I think you know it's always prudent to have your um, some seniors with a little bit more playing experience time um, on your team. We took two sophomores last year. I mean, excuse me, last week, and it, and they struggled um, with just coming off from the summer and playing in their first event. They were they were a little overwhelmed. They they qualified well for the event, but uh, there is a big difference from playing a qualifying to get into the event and then actually being there. And the, and they showed that they need a little bit more playing time um, and competition to, to just help prepare themselves for that. Well, thanks for your time and good yeah. luck this week. Absolutely. Carson Simmons, women's golf coach, Suzanne Strudwick. I'm Matthew Osborne, and this is CNEagles.com. Come on out and support us at Seville. Thank you.